Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here. We're in the shave den and it's time for another shave. I tell you, this is going to be the week of new razors. I'm going to be trying new razors out for the first time. Today, I'm going to be doing a budget-minded shave. A lot of you have asked, hey, uh, you know, you're, you're using expensive razors, $200, $100, $250, $1,000, which I didn't buy, by the way. I was loaned it. But uh, people have said, hey, how about a nice budget shave? And if you go into the grocery stores or the pharmacies, you're probably going to find the Vand, uh, what is it, Vanderhagen and uh, the uh, pawn shop guys. But I found something on Amazon and I wanted to try it out. And I've been corresponding back and forward with the company and I've got them today. By the way, Amazon does fast shipping. I think it was the next day shipping. And what it is, it's from a company called Zomchi. Have you heard about these guys? I had not heard about them, but the price was right on these razors. First of all, let me show you the packaging. We've got blue. They've got a lot of cool colors, but the blue really stood out for me. Let's see here. We're a uh, vegan, uh, cruelty-free and vegan beauty products. There's the box. Gives you some of the uh, information on it. And I was trying to open the top. Interesting enough. It opens from the bottom, obviously, and there's a pull tab here. When you pull out the box, some good packaging. And here is the razor, blue anodized. And they also come, let me pull this up. Here we go. They also come with their own blades. Zomshi blades. It's got a similar color to the Astra blades, but do not know what type these are. We're going to open these up and try it out. So I've got the uh, got the logo right there. Three piece. It's good heavy metal. I think it's five point three ounces. If you're anodizing in blue, which is nice, and they also had. Another razor, which I'm not going to try today, in rainbow color. And I believe this is geared towards the ladies, but, you know, a razor is a razor is a razor. Anybody can use this. And this one, if I can get it out of here, comes in the box like this. Comes with one pack here, one pack of blades, where the other one came with two. And here is this razor. It's interesting. Blade goes here. But if you compare the two, this one is uh, 5.3 ounces. This one is 3.8. It's almost the same size, but it's got a little thinner handle. It's a little lighter. And it's got that rainbow anodizing color. Kind of shifts with the light. Kind of a shift color, which is kind of cool. Wife saw this, really likes it. My daughter saw this, really likes it. But today I'm going to be using the blue one. Hang on, let me clear up some of this. One more thing I just noticed with this razor, you get this pack of blades. And with the blue razor, you get that pack of blades. So looks like just a little bit different marketing. Platinum, double edge, superior platinum, superior platinum, double edge. Just maybe looks like a packaging difference. Put this away. Okay, let me pause this. And I'm also going to be using the Omega ore brush today. In fact, we'll put that into the crystal skull right now. See, I'm soaking the bore, not the synthetic. And I have the uh, Old Spice mug and the Modern that you'll find on the shelf today, the Old Spice aftershave. Now, the only thing is, is I had a puck in there, in here. I forget the brand of this puck. And somebody would have asked, I'm sure, what type of soap were you using? So what I did is I've got the Edwin Jagger soap, aloe vera. This is a just a cheap puck refill. Sealed in plastic. You won't get much of a lather out of that. We'll uh, open that. Bench made bug out knife. There we go. 
very nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of wet the bottom of this puck. Actually, I'll put it face down. I'm going to wet the bottom of this, put it in here. And hopefully, when I'm using the, kind of shoving it in there into place, when I'm using the brush, it won't be rattling around. All right. So let's take a look at these blades. Now, ordinarily, when I do a razor shave, I use a blade that I'm very familiar with, and that would be the Wilkinson Sword Gillette. Today, I'm actually gonna use the blades that came with it, because maybe you don't have a Wilkinson Sword Gillette. And if the blades don't do me good on today's shave, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the razor, it just means I'm not used to these particular blades. The razor is made in China, and the blades, I'm not too sure about, but we'll take a look when we get them open. How was the weekend? Hope you guys had a good weekend. It is chilly here in Southern California. We went from the heat. There we go. Long few blades. I need a magnifier to read that. Well, it does not say where the blade is made. So let us see. Maybe it has it on the blade itself. Some nice packaging. Here we go. Zomshi Superior Platinum. Just Superior Platinum. No indication on where that comes from. So we're going to try this out. And it's a nice three-piece razor, as I said. Three-piece I generally prefer. The twist open ones, sometimes things can go a little wrong. Blade lines up very good in there. Locks into place good. Zero overhang, zero zero overhang and there is the blade and it's a closed comb which is nice all right now we can wet the face get that brush hey the puck stuck Now, in the description of this video, I have included links to their website and to Amazon. And on their website, I could not find the blue razor. They have blue, they have green, they have black, they have different colors. But the blue one, I only found on the Amazon website. And the Amazon website offered free shipping. I think on their website, it's free shipping over $50. And they also sell blades, uh, accessories, uh, soaps, soap bags. Well, soap bags. They have a lot of accessories, a lot of items at their website too. Not just razors and blades. All right, let's see how we go with their blade. Oh, very nice. Very nice. It's smooth. Might be a little more aggressive than my 34G, but very smooth so far. The trick is gonna be on my neck area. So let's see here. And you can never have enough different colored razors, in my opinion. So I've got a red, a white, and a blue Edwin Jagger. A red razor, a white razor, and a blue razor. Oh, very nice. Here's the tricky part. Narrow in the angle, if you saw. Because I often cut myself here. And I'm using an unknown blade. Blade's not tugging. Handle's really easy to grip. It's got slight knurling. A ball end. But it's easy to grip. Man. 
All right, you're seeing this for the first time. I did not rehearse this. I opened that razor blade up. First time with a blade, first time with a razor. And right now, this is a successful shave. I could just call it quits right now. But I enjoy talking to you. So let's do a second pass. Yeah, they have a lime green one too, which is kind of unique. Anyway, if you get a chance, if you want to see the different colors, you can... I would recommend if you click on the Amazon link in the uh, video, but you can click on whatever you want. It's just you will not see the blue razor on their site. I did not see it. I think it's noble blue. That's definitely a cool color. A lot of the other razor com razors or razor companies that come out of uh, China, they're not always on Amazon. They might be on AliExpress or something like that. But a lot of people are very happy, me included, ordering from Amazon. If you don't like it, you can send it back. At least with the products I've been buying. I don't know about this, but... Yeah, very smooth. Feels solid, feels beefy. That's what I like. Some of these light aluminum razors, they're great, but they're very light and... I kind of like the heavy, heavier ones. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Well, their blade did good and their razor did good. I'd be curious to see how the razor does with a blade I'm familiar with. If it does good now, maybe it'll do even better. All right. Ah, old Spice. Welcome in the 1970s again. Ooh, nice burn. Nice smell. My wife is going to hate it. I'm going to hate the old spice, cells, old spice scent. Well, there you go. I'm surprised sometimes with razors. You know, you expect a razor to be a razor. But when you're at a $20 price point or $22 for this one, the black, I think, is $20. Well, the different colors, different prices. And they have stands. Some come with stands. I did not necessarily see a blue stand, but I didn't look. I didn't order a stand, just ordered the razor. But they have stands too, and the stands come with the razor for like $25, or if you buy the razor itself, it could be a little less. But again, check out Amazon, see for yourself. Successful shave, Monday is over. Coming next, or later on in the week, we're gonna be looking at the, a new razor from One Blade. So we're gonna go up in the price range, and we're going to see how that one does. But, you know, you guys keep saying, I need a nice budget-minded razor. What would you recommend? I certainly, I certainly would have no quarrel recommending this. All right? The only problem is, is it comes in so many colors, it might be addicting. You might, <laughs> I don't know if they had red. I'm going to have to look. But uh, they certainly have uh, several different colors. And, there you have it. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for your subscriptions. I appreciate it. I, I always enjoy doing these videos and I always like uh, hearing your comments and I try to answer all of your comments and thank you very much for watching. So we'll see you next time. Stay safe.